Well, today we're going to be making some tincture. But first we have to decarb our flour. Uh, I'm using two ounces of measured flour here. We're going to put it in the oven at 240 for 60 minutes. This will activate the, the flour and uh, make it psychoactive. Sit for 60 minutes. Sixty minutes is up. We have our decarb flour here. This is Shishka Berry and Big Bud Super Skunk. We're gonna let this cool down before we put it into the magic butter machine with our alcohol. dry and, uh, and uh, cool. We can put it in our machine. You don't need to break it up because the machine will do that for you. And I'm using a little over two and a half cups of green alcohol. This machine is a minimum of two cups. Put the lid on the machine. Plug it in. We're going to set it for 130. And then we're going to set it for eight hours. You can do it for four, but we're going to go for eight to get the maximum out of our flour. We have our tincture all strained and ready to go. We're just going to make our magical gummy recipe first. We're going to be adding our four packages of, of Jello, ten packages of Nox gelatin, one cup of chilled juice, a quarter cup of honey, and a tablespoon of citric acid. While we're getting this ready, when we're done that, we'll get the tincture reduced to uh, down to oil. Now that we have all of our dry ingredients mixed, we're going to be mixing in our cup of chilled juice and a quarter cup of honey or agave. And the secret ingredient, lecithin. We'll be adding a teaspoon of that for every cup of, of tincture that we're going to add. So we're only using about one cup of tincture today. We're going to use just over a cup, a tablespoon of lecithin in here. We're going to mix it all together. And that's going to go into the jello and it's going to season while we're reducing our tincture down to oil.
Is that our spill below? Sorry, dude. Don't trip me. We're going to add just over a cup of tincture. And we'll let this reduce until it turns to an oil. Now we're, now we're reduced down to oil, we're going to add our flavor and I like to add a little squirt of tart and sour just to give the candies a little bit of a zing. Mix this all together. in our seasoned candy mix. We're going to heat this for seven minutes on low, stirring it until it all becomes one. In the meantime, you want to get some molds ready. We already have ours here, silicone molds. Make sure you have plenty on hand because you never know how much you're going to need to pour. Now that our candy mix has been heated and liquefied for seven minutes, it's all ready now to be poured into the molds. You kind of want to do it quick because it will set.